Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Marvel Legends Man-Thing Wave Punisher in four minutes or less. Marvel Legends Man-Thing Wave Punisher is a six-inch scale action figure based on John Barenthal's turn as the Punisher in season two of Netflix's Daredevil series. Barenthal is the fourth actor to wear the skull emblazoned t-shirt of the hard-to-kill ex-marine who's out for justice and thinks he's above the law. Technically, he's only the third one to wear the skull shirt. Dolph Lundgren never actually put on the shirt back in 1989. The skull was on the butt of his knife. And even more technically, Tom Jane, Ray Stevenson, Barenthal, none of them had the skull symbol on a shirt. It's painted on their body armor. He's got standard articulation for a Marvel Legends figure wearing a jacket. And fair warning, the jacket thing is a pet peeve of mine. For younger viewers, pet peeve is how old people say triggered. Although I just realized triggered, would have been more appropriate phrasing for this video. When it comes to cloth versus soft plastic for capes and cloaks and things, I know I can't make up my stupid mind which I prefer, so I imagine it's very difficult for the designers on their end to try to predict what kind of mood is Dan Larson going to be in today. I'm happy! Jacket articulation means he has everything that you would expect except that his elbows are single jointed and the rubbery coat can sometimes limit the range of crunch forward or backward. The sculpting on the sleeves and the rubbery vest parts can create a situation where there's too much stuff in his armpits to let his arm hang in a natural coated position. It's not as bad on this figure as it has been on previous figures like Red Skull, Nick Fury, or other Punishers, and admittedly, even with pit collision issues, it still looks better than the old cloth coats that came with Tom Jane Punisher and Wesley Snipes Blade. And not for nothing, but it's impossible for a Punisher figure to come with enough guns, so by default, this one also does not come with enough guns. He's got a pretty standard looking 45 and an M16 with a scope and grenade launcher attached to it. Deadpool came with two 45s, two katanas, a boxing glove bazooka, and a taco. Heck, the last Punisher figure from Walgreens, the exclusive came with an M60, a rocket launcher, and a drum-fed shotgun. I appreciate that this figure came with these two guns, and I mean, you can still use all the other guns in my accessory bin, but yeah, I wanted more guns. I've been a Punisher fan since I was 10 years old. As a kid, he's the one hero that you can look at and think, I could do that. You aren't getting spider powers, you aren't getting adamantium claws, and if you were going to be a billionaire orphan, that probably would have happened already. Homicidal Vigilante is not a recommended career path by any means. I'm just saying it's more realistic, and unlike all my other dreams, it's never too late to start. I thoroughly enjoyed the Netflix Daredevil series, and in particular the handling of the Punisher. It was his characterization in the series and the performance of Barenthal that made me want the figure so much. Thanks to Hasbro's new digital face printing process, this figure has a very good likeness that captures Frank's thousand yard stare, the hollow, deathly gaze of a man who has seen too much death. He's broken inside, but you can put the pieces back together, Daredevil Matt. For Christ's sakes, forget about the legal system for a minute and just give the man a hug. Frank's got some scars on his face, which he should because he takes a beating in that series. Mine in particular has a chunk taken out of his ear, and even though I noticed it as soon as I took it out of the package, I had to go back and rewatch the last episode of season two just to make sure that I wasn't forgetting a part where someone cut his ear. It's a factory defect, but it works. If you just didn't get into the Netflix verse, then this figure is an easy pass. But if you've been waiting for a proper MCU Punisher figure, then this is a must have. So buy it if you see it. And if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, hit subscribe if you are not already a subscriber. Share this video with someone who you think might like action figure videos. And let us know in the comments below which superhero you wanted to be when you grew up. I know I could be the Punisher, but really, really, I wanted to be Spider Man. I let a lot of spiders bite me back in the day. A lot. It's weird, I can't argue. It didn't work, so I can't even say it was worth it. <laughs>